because I had to figure out how can I take my identity and how can I combine it with Islam? Like, can I be my old self and still be Muslim? Um, how am I going to tell my family? What will they think about it? Um, I did tell my family and overall they were accepting. Um, I don't think they're too happy about it, um, but you know, they just say, okay, well, this is the thing that you want to do. Um, my biological father, I told him, and he was okay with it. He was like, oh, that's a great idea. My um, grandfather actually is a preacher. Um, he's a preacher. He's been a part of the clergy for maybe nearly 40 years, and he's actually the head pastor at a church in Oklahoma, and he, he was accepting. I mean, he has Muslim friends. He's, he's completely okay with it. And he actually used it as an opportunity to tell me about how Islam has been beneficial to the black community in America. Um, so I had become Muslim and I was learning about Islam and I was sort of, I felt like I was losing sight of who I was and I actually went through a period of depression um, and I feel like a lot of, I feel like some converts go through that. You kind of feel alone at times. Um, you lose your old friends and you don't, maybe don't feel, the Muslim community is new to you and you may not always feel accepted. Um, so it was definitely something that I had to work on to sort of find out who I was and to come out of my shell and to become more involved. Um, and I did, alhamdulillah, I'm very happy about that. Um, when I first became Muslim, it was definitely a lonely time, but um, the mosque has been, the mosque here has been um, very influential in um, me becoming a better Muslim and even meeting people, the social aspects of being a part of the Ummah. Um, the clergy here, the imam here helped me to find um, a job um, at an, a local Islamic school and it's been such a blessing to me. It's alhamdulillah. I met so many Muslims through working there. Um, instead of seeing Muslims on a monthly basis or maybe only when I came to the masjid for Juma, I started to see Muslims regularly and, built, and started to build greater relationships with them. And I started to make my own connections. There are some, there, there's a large Muslim population at my university. And a lot of the sisters there, mashallah, they helped me a lot. When I first began wearing hijab, they helped me to find different scarves. They answered a lot of my questions. Um, they answered the phone when I was frustrated about learning something or maybe when I was going through some challenges. Um, they've helped me so much. There have been some negative aspects. Um, I believe that at times I um, did face a, um, some racism, um, but over time, it's something, it's just a challenge that I think that you face in any walk of life. Um, I did have to begin to understand that Muslims are, um, Muslims aren't perfect. Um, as a Muslim, I am nowhere near perfect. Um, we all have the different things that we go through when we're learning and, and when we're changing, and we all have our struggles and our tests in this world. Um, so it's all about coming together and I feel overall um, now that I'm becoming more known in the community I do feel that I am more accepted at the beginning I didn't necessarily feel that way but I think that I'm also changing as a person I think that they're becoming more receptive and open and I am becoming more open as well I think that I did have a closed mind at the beginning and I was sort of defensive and scared um, about understanding what it's like to be Muslim and meeting different people, but I think that I am becoming more open to the different cultures. Um, one of the challenges that I had is when I first became Muslim, um, some of the people that I knew, it's kind of, you become by bombarded by all of this information and um, all of the different aspects and what your role has to be as a Muslim. So I just said Shahada, I was teaching myself how to pray, I was learning Quran, and I had people telling me, by the way, this is what you need to wear, and by the way, you can't have na nail polish, and oh, you like to sing, well, well, Muslim sisters, Muslim women, they can't sing, they can't do these things, they can't, you need to get your male friends, you have to get rid of all of them. And it was so overwhelming, I was like, who am I, who am I supposed to be? 
where am I supposed to go? You're telling me that I have to let go of all of these aspects of myself. I think that it can have a big, um, a, a, a large effect on you and it definitely affected me a lot. Um, I think when we meet converts or we meet people who are Muslim but they're, um, they aspire to become closer to the deen and to become stronger in their iman, um, we can't necessarily judge them and, and sort of tell them, you have to do all of these things and, you know, sister, you need to change the way you dress and you need to change the way you talk and the way you walk and the food that you eat and the language that you speak. This can become very overwhelming. I think we need to focus on the core of Islam, which is a love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as our one God, no intercessors, no equals. And as we go along, we can gradually adopt these different things. I started wearing hijab the year that I became Muslim. It wasn't something that I felt pressured to do. It was a decision that I made on my own, and it was, a mainly, it was mainly a decision based on obedience. I wanted to become more obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It wasn't something that I was necessarily looking forward to. I was terrified. Um, I didn't really have any hijab. I didn't really have any clothing. I didn't have clothing. I didn't have any scarves. Um, but I did it anyway. Um, and it was difficult and I took it off. Um, I wore it for a week and I took it off. And then a, a, about a month later, I tried again and I started wearing it and I've worn it consistently since then. Um, for me, it's in America, it, I don't feel overall that I'm judged for wearing my hijab. I think that if you wear hijab, you definitely have to have a level of confidence where you get to a point where you're so comfortable in wearing it that you forget that you have it on. Um, and I do feel that way. Um, I think that especially in the workplace, you can wear hijab in the workplace. There have been some discrimination um, cases here where people aren't necessarily as open to it. But I think overall people are open to it here and I'm not afraid to wear it in front of my family. I'm not afraid to wear it at school in front of my peers. Um, it can be a challenge for some but overall it's not it's not too difficult. I think the most difficult part of wearing hijab for me is um, the heat. Um, it's a sunny day today and it is definitely it gets really hot in Texas. Um, we hit degrees especially in the summer and in August, which right now Ramadan is during August, so it's extremely hot at that time. Um, I think last year the weather got up to 109 degrees. So um, I was wearing hijab and I was very, very hot and I wanted to take it off, um, but I didn't. Um, I think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah, he made it easier for me um, after making dua. And I think the most beautiful aspect subhanallah about Islam is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Um, as a Christian I was always attached to this idea that I couldn't I couldn't be accepted about Allah by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if unless I worshipped Jesus. You know, unless I had this blood and human connection um, to God because of um, a sinful nature as a Muslim. I mean, as a Christian, but in Islam, in Islam, anyone can be accepted to Islam. Anyone can um, come to Islam and experience the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what we do. Um, another important aspect that I think um, is very beautiful in Islam is that it, it challenges you, Islam challenges you to become a better person. You learn about something in Islam, you learn about an aspect of Islam, and you apply it to your life. And that definitely, that definitely leads to some internal transformation. I, I, before Islam, and these are the things that I struggle with, um, I struggle with things such as patience, um, I struggle with um, appreciation for the things that I have in my life. I struggle with lust and I think that Islam has definitely helped me to get get rid of these aspects in my life and to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to practice a sense of self-control that I've never had before and to perceive these things in a different way and to use these tests as an opportunity to develop myself as a Muslim. 
and to work towards the things, the good things in this life and in the hereafter. And also to use my um, struggles to help others and to help inform others. Um, Another aspect that I think is really, really beautiful is the idea of modesty in Islam and to love God so much that you don't, you don't put other things before him, that he is always the core and nothing else is the core. And I think that Islam gives you the guidelines to do that. I think that um, the Islamic world and Muslim countries, I think that some of the biggest issues that we face right now would probably be, well, several issues. I think especially in the West, I think that our, our tendency to make concessions for everything, to sort of apologize for being Muslim and to um, sort of adapt and change ourselves and put Islam, um, push Islam to the side so that people can understand us. I think that, I definitely think because of the media, um, Muslims constantly have to defend themselves and defend Islam, but we don't have to change, we don't have to um, um, sort of bend Islam to to make it more to see to make it seem more acceptable to other people. There are efforts that we make in terms of dawah, which are very good, but um, to sort of change Islam and change the things that we do and say, you know, well, okay, everyone dates here, so I'll start dating.